morning. And welcome to today's edition of Zero Dark Thirty Adventure Time. <laughs> it's uh, just before 5 a.m. And my goal this morning is to catch sunrise out at Grand Falls, which is this magnificent muddy waterfall, which is about an hour and 15 minutes away. Uh, it's been since before COVID since I was out there, so it's been a few years. I used to be like an annual pilgrimage sometime between like March and November because it's a seasonal waterfall. It doesn't run full time. It runs when we've had water, rain, snow melt, whatever. So yeah, it's um, it's nice to get up and get out, even though it's early, like crazy early, like real early. There's people who say they get up early, and then there's people who get up before five. <laughs> you know, uh, it's starting to get nippy in Flagstaff. I'm in a hoodie, as you can see, which I mean, honestly, for I don't know. Three quarters of the year is pretty much about the name of the game. Forty-six degrees of Fahrenheit this morning. Get it. Get up. to get you to 60 miles an hour. All right, um, I'm gonna put on some music. I'm gonna drink some coffee. And we are gonna just rock and roll today. Hopefully, we will arrive before sunrise so that I have a chance to set up and see what's going on before the sun actually peaks over the horizon. Uh, we got about an hour to kill. Rock and roll. Despite how bumpy this may or may not look on the GoPro, uh, you can totally bring your Prius, your Subaru, your whatever low clearance vehicle out here. Uh, it's not a problem. You go slower than, generally speaking, I'm driving. Because uh, I don't have a low clearance vehicle. I don't have to worry about it. All right, so there are some amenities. There's pit toilets. There's this beautiful pergola thing. I don't know what these are called. And then you drive right up to the cliff, scare the shit out of your mom. So we're on top of the falls right now. Oh no, they're not flowing. I came all the way out here and there's no water. No joke, not kidding. Check this out. Oh, there's a little bit of water. So there we are. Just the tiniest little bit of water. So this entire thing, when it's flowing, will be just covered in muddy water. Well, I'll make the best of it. I got really good clouds and then we're gonna have a beautiful sunrise here in a few minutes. So I'm gonna take the car from there and we're gonna drive around to down there. And that's the spot where I'll be able to catch the falls. Actually, maybe down there the falls and then sunrise which is going to happen somewhere over here so we got a little bit of rain yesterday and we're supposed to get more like all this coming week so this may just be a good scouting trip and i may just be coming back um that's the thing with seasonal waterfalls you never really know so we're gonna 
we're gonna see how this goes. You know, it's a good excuse to get up, get out early, enjoy the real world. Nice sharp rocks. places where you really, really don't want to lock your keys in your car. It's like no cell service. Whoops. And you'd be out here forever. All right, let's go look. Good. It's like a scuba diver back. Ugh. Oh man, mosquitoes, that's the worst. I always forget to bring a tripod for this camera. So I'm gonna use my car as a tripod for this camera. I think I'm just gonna drive it and park it like right there next to where I am so you can I can set the GoPro on the car and then you'll see where I'm going. You know? That's much more like it. Because now, you can go right there and I will be right there. Like we did it on purpose. Okay, so the whole point of the shot for me was a horizontal composition that I can crop in, crop in, and make a two to one panorama. So even without the dark cloth, you can almost start to see there's a picture going on in there. So I'm gonna get my life figured out. Mosquitoes are gross. I mean, there's a lot of stagnant water down there, so you get it. Still. Uh, so don't mind me while I set up a composition here and generally speaking get my life in order. Okay, so far so bad. Uh, I'm too close, so I gotta get further away, and in order to get further away, I gotta get higher. And the only way I can think of to do that is to take my truck and back it up a ways over there so that I can get on the roof, because I got this big dumb roof rack. And maybe from the roof, a little bit further away, I'll be able to pull this off. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna put you, uh, generally here. Just hang out with the 8x10 for a little bit.
Found a different spot. We're gonna move down over that rise somewhere. Starting to get a little lighter. I pulled out the old compass. And by compass, I mean my phone. To figure out where east slash southeast is. Which would give me a reasonable approximation of where the sun's gonna rise. And there's this little like, hold on, let me flip you around. Gully over here. And then from the top of that spot right there, one, I'm further away from mosquitoes, which is for sure always a good thing. And two, I'm changing my sort of angle of approach which means that I should get a better angle on the falls. And I'm also further away. It's like everything I was hoping for all at once. So I'm wandering around, munching on an apple for breakfast. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is gonna be great. Here we are. Sorry, breakfast. Um, not bad, actually. Let's look. Oh. Come on. Oh man. What is this, amateur hour? Yes. As a matter of fact, it is. Okay, so. I got little baby fall here, rock, little baby fall there, and there, and then sunrise is going to be up here somewhere, uh, hopefully, at some point. Uh, I don't know, it's like a reasonable composition to start. I'll probably be cropping out of the bottom the stagnant muddy trash, if I crop. Um, yeah, good place to start, we'll start one there. Um, I've got just a skosh of fall and tilt, and that's basically it. Yeah. A little bit of movement just to sort of fine tune the focus across the fall since I'm at an angle like this. Now I'm going to set uh, my. And I'm going to set my shutter release cable and wait. And uh, see what happens. Just waiting for the light at this point. Pretty sure I want this at f16. Excuse me. God, I'm so disgusting. I want this at f16. And. Who knows what the shutter speed will be by the time the sun actually comes up. I'm going to be exposing for the falls and letting the sun just explode into hopefully a ray of beautiful sunburst lighting. But I'm far enough below the horizon at this level that there's actually no gap in the clouds there. So I'm just going to have to hope. I'm good at that. I can afford to kill, let's see, I'm on the res, and time is different there, so, um, I believe Navajo Nation is an hour ahead of us, and my watch reflects that, so it's 7.35 here, which means it's 6.35 in Flagstaff, 30 miles away, so I can afford to kill another hour, another hour here before I have to go in and go to work and make prints. So we'll just hang out. Sounds like a good plan, right?
I figure the smart thing to do is to probably load up a holder um, while we wait, just in case I get that sparkle of sunshine with no warning or with enough warning that I'm not really paying attention. So we'll use the Calumet back, which opens for me and stays open. How beautiful is that? And I brought six sheets of Cat Labs Ortho 80, which is one of my new favorite platinum printing films. The orthochromatic stuff is just so good. I can't even. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to leave the dark slide in, but I'm stopped down to F16, and the current meter reading is a quarter second at F16 for the shadows of the falls down here. Um, now we just wait. I've got a cute little time lapse running right there so that you can see what it looks like to wait for an hour while hopefully the sun does something interesting. <laughs> And I'm going to continue having coffee and enjoying this incredible landscape all to myself. Damn. Doesn't get much better than that. Son of a fucking mosquito. Jesus Christ, driving me nuts. <clears throat> There's a little break in the clouds right there that the sun may be able to shine through. So I'm going to prep just in case and pull my dark slides. I hate mosquitoes. They're gross. No, the sun's gonna be too high for that one. I might grab a safety shot. Just because we can. Because we're here. <coughs> I think I aspirated a mosquito. <laughs> Ever done that? It was gross. Eating bugs is one thing, breathing them is something different. I'm waiting for this little pocket to move over to where the sun is. Any, any difference, any change, anything interesting to look at as far as the sun goes. I really am counting on the sun to lead the, the eye through the frame. Otherwise, this is just going to be kind of a dark, muddy mess. We'll see. I think that's about it. That's all I'm going to get. The sun's far too high for this shot. So I'm going to pack it in and use this as a learning experience. I'll get these two sheets developed and use that as an evaluation of my composition, see whether F16 was enough for this scene, given how deep I want this focus to be. <clears throat> and I figure it's about time to head back to the shop and open things up and get going for the day. So, pack it in, get out. <laughs> okay. Great success. On the road again. Ooh. Very important. Don't forget the coffee on the bumper. Cheers, Grand Falls. Thanks for a lovely morning. Let's get out of here. You know, something I've been attempting to learn, been struggling to learn with this whole eight by 10 experience is that sometimes you're gonna go through all the trouble of setting up and spending the time and doing this stuff and you're not gonna get a good picture. Sometimes you're just gonna get 
like an almost safety shot, mostly trash, not particularly interesting. And you know what? That's okay. It's part of the experience. It's part of learning. It's part of dialing in a shot like this. Yes, I got some photos. Jesus, the tools are rattling around like crazy. But it's not what I wanted, so I'll be coming back. The trick now is coming back during a time that the water's still flowing and I can get the sunrise that I'm after. So I will keep an eye on the weather and hopefully try this one again. I think it's worth trying again. I think getting a good shot here is a good goal for me. Something for me to chase after, something for me to work on. Yeah. So now I'll uh, scoot back into town and be ready for my print client who's going to show up today at 9-ish. And we're going to make some prints. And I may stop for another coffee somewhere along the way. Because I feel like that's uh, the thing to do today. You know? Yeah. Alright.